people know that the Seine flows through Paris. But what happens when you venture a little bit further, when you head towards the English Channel? Well, let me tell you, plenty. And we are about to discover all that happens on board the Scenic Tours Scenic Gem. I'll never say never again. Over the next three weeks, join me on a Gems of the Seine River cruise to explore a landscape that has inspired painters like Monet and Van Gogh. We'll sample food and wine that has thrilled the world. Sante. And discover what it is about this river that so many people have fought for control over it. So, all aboard. This tour is about to depart. But of course, we are starting in Paris. The biggest gem on the Seine and one of the most beautiful and most visited cities in the world. People are drawn to Paris for all sorts of different reasons. Her beauty inspires romance, her magnificent galleries are a featureable feast for art lovers and you've got the historic buildings and all the monuments. It is just a city that has it all. Now Scenic will give you all sorts of tour options when you're in Paris. You can head off to Versailles for the day, you can join a group and go to the Louvre. But for me, I really wanted to get to know Paris with a local. I want to see the superstars like the Eiffel Tower, but also the side streets too. And they say that the best way to get to know Paris is on foot. So I've teamed up with a girl who has grown up in Paris, Marie. And if we can get a word in edgewise from my mum, we will get to know the Paris just like the locals do. Even when it's raining, Paris is still charming. Now I'm no stranger to Paris. I have seen the Eiffel Tower up close. I've caught an exotic cabaret show at the Lido, but I have never, never done a walking tour with a local. And Marie is kicking it off at the iconic Paris Opera. The Opera House was built to replace an ancient one and we wanted something extraordinary. We wanted something to attract uh, the foreigners. With buildings literally covered in gold and shops sparkling with diamonds, everything in this part of town is on show. It's the birthplace of haute couture and high-end fashion. It's actually the most expensive neighbourhood. Why here? Why in this spot? It's of course, obviously, uh, thanks to the opera that attract all these rich men and um, the ballet dancers. They have yes. the reputation to have all sugar daddies. Yeah. Oh, so, I love it. Paris is not all glitz and glamour. That's why we love it. It has its bohemian side too, like Marie's own neighbourhood called the Marais. So what does Marais actually mean? Oh yeah, um, that's a funny story because um, Le Marais in French, that means swamp. Ah. So that's the, uh, the place where you had like, all this water coming from the river, off the, all the flooding. Having a local like Marie will open you up to parts of Paris everyday tourists just never get to find. And how come you love living here? I mean there is life all the time, there is young people, there is artists, you know, the artists are, I love this neighborhood, it's so dynamic that you can really have new ideas. And the latest craze around here is falafel. Yeah. Here is the best falafel in all Paris. Look, it's so busy all the time, all the time. Très bon. Très bon. Très bon. <laughs> Marais is one of the oldest parts in all of Paris. Much of it looks like it did in the Middle Ages. So yeah, so this building uh, was built in the 14th century, so the oldest house in Paris, you see with all the wood beams and, and the fact that it's not straight, we call that a belly house, because it's very round, like a belly. And we never, never expected to find Lorenzo inside. So are you an Aussie? Yes. What are you doing in there? I live here. I mean, what are the chances? I have to say, I have been to Paris that many times, but I have never learnt such beautiful stories as what you've shared with us today. Thank you so no, much. No, thank you. That was really a pleasure to have you, you know. Armed with a good dose of Parisian history, we settle back on board our luxury spaceship and cruise out of Paris towards our next adventure. How was your day? Absolutely wonderful. It's been an experience.
is, I would say, trip of a lifetime. Mm. Trip of a lifetime. It's day one. <laughs> so I know. Coming up, a fairy tale village filled with castles, stories of brave kings, and a rich landscape worth fighting for. Let us go forth. Conquer. We have woken up to Hello Normandy, the agricultural heart of France, home to all things delicious like camembert, the most beautiful cider, and also home to all things interesting, including Chateau Gaillard, built by none other than Richard the Lionheart. Let us go forth, conquer! Me. Welcome back to my wonderful Gems of the Seine River cruise with scenic tours. Oh, it is so beautiful, the, the homes, the flowers. I could live here. When Richard the Lionheart, King of England and Duke of Normandy, called Le Petit Andelay home, this gorgeous town was filled with craftsmen working on his imposing castle high up on the hill. Today, I'm meeting my guide in the town's only cafe. Monique. Bon matin. You're going to take us up to... Uh... I'm going to the castle next. Let's go. Okay. And, and you pronounce it Chateau Gaillard? Gaillard. It took a year to build and was cutting edge for its time because the curved walls made the fort almost impenetrable. Almost. Richard the Lionheart knew that if he could build this castle on this strategic point, he could control everything from the land to the locals. And the French did not like that one bit. This entrance looks fantastic. Was this the official entrance? Yes. Yeah. You see, the, the colour of the stone yes. is lighter, so the, it has been restored. When Richard the Lionheart died, the French king decided to attack, and it took them around eight months to get in. They tried everything. They were catapulting rocks into the walls, but eventually they did make their way through. It's believed through the bottom. Legend has it through the loom. Now this morning everybody went off on their own separate tours. Some people went off to see how camembert cheese was made. Others went and did an apple cider tasting. Here the cider is more valuable than champagne. And lucky for me, my new friends have decided to share the spoils. Yes, thank you. Nice bottle, well done. This is not Isn't it gorgeous? This is why you sign up for a scenic river cruise, just to be able to sit here and watch life pass you by, whether it's a huge collection of swans or chateaus, just one after another. It is it's just beautiful. Join Scenic Tours on an all-inclusive luxury 11-day gems of the same river cruise, starting in Paris. Sail through this picturesque region on board a scenic spaceship with all activities, events, meals and unlimited drinks included. Prices start from $7,340 per person twin share. Book now and you could fly free. Plus, as a special, just for getaway viewers, visit scenictours.com.au forward slash getaway right now. 
to get an extra $200 off 2015 Seine River Cruises. For more details, to book or request a free brochure, visit scenictours.com.au or call 1300 Scenic. After the break, find out how you could win this dream cruise. Right, girls, what are you up to? This morning we're exploring Rouen. Well, I'm just going on foot. Okay. All I know about Rouen, it's the city of a hundred spires. <laughs> it's all about Joan of Arc. Our scenic tour's wonderful Seine River adventure has cruised into the ancient city of Rouen, capital of Upper Normandy and France's fifth biggest port. I know that it may look like I'm a little bit of a Nigel Nomate wandering the streets on my own, but I actually have this little tailor-made device. It's a GPS system that lets me know wherever I am and the story of wherever I am. I don't know who this guy is speaking to me, but his voice is divine. Rouen Cathedral is one of the most important Catholic places of worship in France. Rouen was once one of the largest and most prosperous medieval cities in all of Europe. It was so rich it was called the City of Spires because of all of her elaborate churches. Now the locals have nicknamed that the Butter Tower because it was funded by donations to the church from wealthy citizens in return for the privilege of being able to eat butter during Lent. Now if you are into your art, you might be feeling a sense of deja vu right now. And that is because from those windows, right there, that is where Claude Monet set up his easel and painted for nearly two years that church right there. The ancient monument attracted a whole new audience when Monet completed over 30 paintings of the facade, capturing the moving light right throughout the day. Inside, you'll find Richard the Lionheart's crypt, which contains his heart. The Gothic cathedral was almost destroyed during World War II, and it contains some of France's finest examples of medieval and renaissance art and architecture. And just outside, you'll find one of Rouen's proudest and rarest attractions, the Great Clock. Now, don't let that shiny facade fool you. The mechanism within that clock is one of the oldest in the world. It dates back over 600 years. And can you see the little images at the bottom? They represent the days of the week, and it changes every day. The streets are still buzzing with life, much like they were in the Middle Ages. And the busiest place is the old Market Square, where Joan of Arc met her fate on May 30, 1431. I'm up here. I'm up here. I'm in La Couronne. This is the oldest restaurant in all of France. It was around for 98 years before Joan of Arc was burnt at the stake right there just behind you right there. And legend has it that diners ate their meal right here whilst watching Joan of Arc burn right there. And that star-studded wall, that is the celebrity guest list from only the last 100 years or so. Not long after Joan died, only 25 years, the king that she helped to put into power said, we have to clear her name. So she was retrialed posthumously and cleared. And he then said, where she was burnt at the stake, we now have to place a cross so that she can forever be honored. And 600 years later, that is what people from all over the world are still doing. In Australia, we have had drive-through fast food for years, but over here, they have drive-through bakeries. That is the level of demand for amazing French bread and pastries. And isn't there something just extra yummy about that French bread? But to whip up all of this, it's considered a fine art. You have to study to be this good. So, are you ready to go to school? Merci beaucoup. Our all-inclusive, scenic, free choice cooking class is the opportunity to see the work and skill that goes into making French pastry. 
the National Bread, Baking and Pastry Institute started in 1974. They offer courses for beginners right through to professionals. And they do everything here from the bread baking to pastry making through to confectionery arts. They take students from all around the world. The demand is so huge and uh, they take this very seriously. Very seriously indeed. French cooking is about precision. It's not as easy as it looks, is it? No. It just makes you admire the chefs even more. They make it look so simple. You try it. Huh? For the finishing touches, Le Chef calls in the big guns, Dave and Bruce. No worries. And the best part of the class, we get to eat it. Wrong spoon for this. I think you can eat, use your fingers if you like. Well, even that was in French, I learned a lot, yes. I shall now try. Oh, man, big, beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Radio, it is competition time where we are giving you the chance to win what these guys have paid for. How incredible is that? An amazing trip to France, all for yourself. The prize is an all inclusive luxury 11 day gems of the Seine River cruise. Travel along France's second longest waterway, most celebrated for its world heritage listed Parisian banks, impressionist inspirations, medieval masterpieces, and picturesque ports. All activities, meals, beverages, and exclusive events are included. All up, including return airfares, the prize is worth over $19,000. Visit winparis.scenictours.com.au to be in the draw. Trust me, it is the most wonderful prize. It's an incredible trip, isn't it? I'll say it is. I'll yeah. say it is. So get yourself in the draw and good luck. All right, after the break, my journey along the Seine continues as we venture to the Somme. The fertile soils and rolling hills of Normandy are no stranger to battles and invasions. From the Gauls, the Romans, the English. But it was the Great War from 1914 to 1918 that dealt the hardest blow that was felt right around the world. When you're on the gems of the Seine River cruise with scenic tours, you will get the option to visit the site of Australia's most successful battle, the 1918 clash for control of Villiers Bretonneau. And our pilgrimage starts at the Australian War Museum in the middle of the town. Ever since World War I, Villers Bretonna um, has never been forgotten by the Australians, and Villers Bretonna has never forgotten Australia. No one had fought a war quite like this before. It was the first time for armoured tanks, machine guns, and mustard gas. To represent what life was like for the soldiers, the museum holds a collection of items donated by survivors and families who lost their loved ones. According to the curator, Monsieur Tate, the village is determined to keep the memory of the victory and sacrifice well and truly alive. As he says, you know, he's part of the elder generations and uh, it's important for him to pass that on uh, to the younger ones because they must not forget what happened. Yeah, the sacrifice and the duty the Australian soldiers gave here. The bond between Australia and this small French town is still strong. And you can see this and feel this in the school hall, which was built from donations by Australian school children in 1927. Even the, uh, the timber, the spotted gum, is from, is from Victoria. And I've just noticed this sign. N'oublions jamais Australie. Never forget Australia. There are reminders everywhere you look, from streets bearing Aussie names to the Wall Cemetery and Memorial, which sits on the old battlefield. Now that we're standing here, I, I understand what you were talking about with the strategic location. So just beyond there is... Amiens. Amiens, and that is straight through to Paris. Yes, it's the door to Paris, practically. So they had firing range onto Amiens from here. 
I suppose what you what you can't move beyond are the ages on the headstones. So young, 18, 22. Exactly. But the biggest Australian losses happened nearby at the Battle for Pozieres. In the history of our nation, it was here that we lost more men than anywhere else in the world. Than anywhere else in the world. How many men? 23,000 men in casualty for this small village including 7,000 who never made it. My grandfather, Mum's dad, was a member of the Black Watch, which was sort of like the Scottish elite military force. And he travelled all through here and he took photos. And Mum has grown up on these photos. And we have just found the exact basilica, the, uh, the Golden Virgin, right here. How does it make you feel now that we're here to walk through his footsteps? It is very hard. <laughs> Why is it hard? Oh, it's very emotional and I just think it's amazing that he survived. Badly injured as he was and survived. And it does feel amazing for me as the granddaughter to come back here and, um, and retrace his steps. I needed to see these trenches for myself. I needed to feel this air. My grandfather, Andrew, fought in this area and just being here has made me feel that I know him a little bit better than I did before. This is just running through someone's backyard. The land is still pockmarked from the war. So when I tell my son that he's named after a brave soldier, never felt that more on today. Join Scenic Tours on an all-inclusive luxury 11-day gems of the same river cruise, starting in Paris. Sail through this picturesque region on board a scenic spaceship with all activities, events, meals and unlimited drinks included. Prices start from $7,340 per person twin share. Book now and you could fly it for free. Plus, as a special, just for getaway viewers, visit scenictours.com.au forward slash getaway right now to get an extra $200 off 2015 Seine River Cruises. For more details, to book or request a free brochure, visit scenictours.com.au or call 1300 Scenic. Well, I'm sorry to say that is all that we have time for tonight. Join me next week as I continue my luxury Gems of the Same River cruise with Scenic Tours. What are we doing? What are we Bicca doing? We can touch the bridge. You touch the bridge? I'm but don't break it, Vicka. No! Vicka. <laughs> Ha ha ha!